Part 2. Crimson Flower. Guardian Moon. The Master Tactician. Having crushed the Alliance's army and captured the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army prepares to attack Deirdre, the Alliance's base of operations. Professor, what is your opinion of Claude? I can't help but wonder what sort of impression he made on you. That is inarguable and his schemes are still going strong. With them, he's managed to keep the Leicester Alliance from the Empire's grasp. Since the beginning, territories within the Alliance have been split between those who support the Empire and those who oppose it. Claude has been acting as an intermediary between the two, essentially keeping the Alliance pacified. As both sides are of equal strength, He's created a situation in which they've all agreed to avoid fighting each other and causing undue bloodshed. By carrying on as though the Alliance is united, he's minimized the Empire's influence there. <laughs> it's quite impressive how well his bold scheme has worked out. However, he is walking on thin ice. One wrong move and the Alliance will shatter. Speaking of Claude... Your Majesty, we should not delay in our invasion of the Alliance. It would seem that Claude has some fresh scheme up his sleeve, to no one's surprise. Is that so? Yes. The people of Deirdre have suddenly found it difficult to leave or enter the city. We can safely assume he is preparing for battle. But I am certain his plans extend beyond that as well. Do you not think we should take Deirdre at once? Deirdre, the aquatic capital. A city floating on the ocean certainly poses a challenge. Since it's deep within Regan territory, we haven't had the opportunity to attack it directly. However, now that we have control of the Great Bridge of Murden, our situation has changed drastically. They can no longer expand their supply line into the Empire, and so we can finally attack Regan territory. House Regan is not only Claude's house, but also the flagship of those who oppose the Empire within the Alliance. If House Regan falls, the other Alliance Lords will be tripping over themselves to join us. That is why we cannot fail to take Deirdre. Confidence is one thing, Professor. But see to it that you do not underestimate Claude. The leader of the Alliance has had many things said about him. They say he is unbeatable in a battle of intellect. I hear they call him the Master Tactician. It's almost time to depart. Are you ready? A promising answer. Whatever happens, never allow your foe to see any weakness. We must pay close attention not only to Claude's schemes, but to the man himself. He's a master archer who wields the legendary bow, Fail Not. He won't fall easily. It's the relic of House Regan. That bow once belonged to one of the ten elites. Professor, do you know the true story behind the legend? The relics were created by the hands of mankind, Saros collected them after killing the Ten Elites. Saros manipulated the people of the world and defeated the all-powerful King Nemesis. That's the history the Church of Saros maintains. In reality, it was little more than a simple dispute. Should the one leading the people of the world be someone with humanity, or a creature that can merely masquerade as a human at will. In the end, Saros was victorious. The Immaculate One and her family then took control of Fodlan. I know this because that knowledge is passed down from Emperor to Emperor. And that is because the first Emperor is the human who cooperated with Saros, allowing humanity to be controlled in secret. 
Perhaps it's fate that you can wield the sword of the Creator, just like Nemesis, the King of Liberation. And that very fate will lead you to use that sword to stand against those who would distort history. It seems they've set out from Garrig Mach, and that's sooner than expected. Losing the Great Bridge of Murden was a serious blow. So is the fact that Teach is still alive. On top of all that, Judith. I told her to run if things look grim. Damn it. So many people will die, and by my call. And what of it? Would you rather turn tail and run back home? Nadir, you're really getting on my nerves. Do you have any idea how much of the Alliance adores me and believes in me? Well, I suppose it's quite a lot. Does that mean that... Yes, the plan is a go. I'm counting on you, Nadir. We'll make a good show taking down those who would assault Deirdre. <laughs> People say our kind may not always win, but we never lose. Let's teach them the real meaning of those words. Now then, let's see what you're made of, Teach. North of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army passes through the Allied territory of House Gloucester and invades the land of House Regan, which leads the opposition. They move to attack Claude in the capital, Deirdre, where the leader of the Alliance awaits their arrival.
Here she comes, at long last. I've done all I can to prepare. Let the cards fall where they may. It'll be a true test of strength. It seems Claude has blockaded the city and occupied the naval port. <laughs> if that is the case, he will have no choice but to engage us from there. Yes. Though putting myself in Claude's place leaves me with an unpleasant feeling. If we take over the port and close the entry to the city, Deirdre will be under our control. Each soldier should bear that in mind as they advance. There are three gates which connect Deirdre to its naval port. Taking the city will be easy once we secure all three. strategy. No stopping me. The roar of battle. I suppose it's working. Beauty, what a pair. More fighting. This is my stage now. For the Empire. Understood. I do this for all of us. Yeah. Me. Ernie's just no good. Don't expect me to go easy on you, because I won't. last of my energy. If you're gonna kill me, make it quick. Fair warning though, I'll likely come back to haunt you. It's not like I've had an easy time of it after all. You want me to join you? The Alliance is over no matter what. The only thing left is to place faith in you and Edelgard. There's still so much I have to accomplish. Thank you for the second chance, Professor. Ready for anything. Turn, Almira's elite. Strike the flanks of the Imperial Army.
those fangs and claws the Alliance fears so much will now be their salvation. Leave it to us, kiddo. My undefeated streak will live on. Another chapter in my heroic saga. That flag and banner. Is that the Almiran army? Ugh, you really did it, Claude. This is no ruse. That is Nadir, an Almiran general. Take care of them quickly, especially those Almiran wyverns. Dare boast of my skill. One of us had to die. This awaits me. Now is the time to master this. Delightful. To try to eliminate Nadir. You're weak. I do not tolerate obstacles. Must 
lead them well. I'm stronger than before. Remain cautious. Thank you. You didn't forget about me, did you? Maybe you should just let me go. It's been fun, Claude. <sighs> Sorry to go so soon. Hilda! Why didn't you retreat? I counted on you retreating. No time for pity. my body and mind. We don't have the guts to resist anymore. Here, you can have this. Just please don't attack the city. I never planned to touch the city. Our target is the Alliance and their leader, Claude. Another victory.
I will prevail. My apologies. Child. Will this ever end? Back to the fray. demands it. To kill is to grow stronger. isn't satisfying. Could go another few rounds. Not for my 
this up for everyone. Attack at your own risk. Your death is not in vain. This is the cost of war. It's been 30 odd years since I first set foot on a field of battle. Here's a taste of my undefeated strength. Time to get clever. Seems we'll have to withdraw. You've done enough, Nadir. Just stay alive. We'll meet again one day. We have forced the Almiran forces to flee. I doubt they're expecting more reinforcements. Tread carefully! Cost. 
I am unafraid. Sequential. I will not let down my guard. Turn the tide. for anything. Empire. 
all is going to plan. Teach, you should have chosen me instead of Edelgard. No point in whining about it now, I suppose. Sorry, but I'll be taking the win today. each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgard. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And as usual, you're here at a most inopportune moment. Well, I'm sure we have much to talk about. But how about we settle things first? No objections here. Prepare yourself, Claude. Enough! You've bested me. If I die here, the Alliance becomes part of the Empire. Do you yield them? You've never known when to give up. Well, I can't just surrender so easily. I'm responsible for the others. If you're as smart as you seem, I bet you figured out why I was able to summon Almyra reinforcements. Wouldn't it be better to let me go and have me in your debt? I see. Right until the very end. I've read this whole thing terribly wrong. All my hopes have fallen to ash. It's all up to you now, Edelgard. I hope you really do make the world... better. Everybody, raise your voices in a victory cheer! Deirdre is ours! Deirdre is ours. The Alliance has collapsed and their leader has fallen. If Claude had lived, the faction of the Alliance that is against the Empire would never have stopped fighting us. To keep the bloodshed to a minimum, he had to be taken out of the equation. However, now that it's over, I can't help but wonder if he was in complete control of that entire situation. What will become of the Alliance without him? He must have taken that into account. Without the rule of House Regan, and with most of that territory left unscathed, the Alliance will undoubtedly ally itself with the Empire. The citizens' lives will be saved from ruin, and no more blood will be shed. Perhaps that's what he wanted from the start. Of course, if his plan here in Deirdre had worked, and I had lost my life, 
the opposite would have come to pass. The Empire would have rushed to the Alliance without further conflict. No matter how the battle unfolded, Claude secured the shortest, most peaceful outcome possible. Lady Edelgard, Deirdre is now completely under our control. As planned, the Alliance's affairs will now be overseen by Count Burglis. My father is coming here? First west, then east. You sure keep him busy. Should the others return to the monastery and prepare to face the kingdom? Yes, thank you, Hubert. Thanks to all of your efforts, our battle with the Alliance has reached its conclusion. However, we still can't afford to be careless. We must now join the battle against the kingdom. With the strength of the Church on their side, they will prove to be a formidable enemy. More than ever, your support is invaluable. We'll need it in the days to come. But for now, let's enjoy our triumphant return. Let's get to it! I'm so happy that the end of the fighting is near. Too bad there's still more violence to come. The Kingdom and the Church of Saros are worthy for fighting. I will crush them into very small pieces. Crushing wouldn't yield a lot of pieces, but I guess it would get the job done. With the Professor, we can't lose. Probably. Oh no. Are we fighting Lady Rhea? But she's scary. And she'll be really angry. But no way she can stay in her spooky beast form all the time, right? If she could, she would have come and attacked the monastery as many times as she wanted. It may be wishful thinking. But perhaps it is a power that she can only access when the situation is dire. But whether she is the Archbishop or the Immaculate One, we cannot be stopped. Half remains, but half is finished. We are certainly moving forward. <laughs> no one can stop us from pushing forward. No one. Don't expect me to go easy on you, because I won't. That's the last of my energy. If you're gonna kill me, make it quick. Fair warning though, I'll likely come back to haunt you. It's not like I've had an easy time of it after all. Father? Mother, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. I'll return the favor. seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lovelier than ever, Edelgar. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And as usual, you're here at a most inopportune moment. Well, I'm sure we have much to talk about. But how about we settle things first? No objections here. Prepare yourself, Claude. <laughs> Enough! You've bested me. If I die here, the Alliance becomes part of the Empire. Do you yield, then? You've never known when to give up. Well, I can't just surrender so easily. I'm responsible for the others. If you're as smart as you seem, I bet you figured out why I was able to summon Almyra reinforcements. Wouldn't it be better to let me go and have me in your debt? Thank you, Professor. And you, Edelgard. I'm truly grateful for your courageous decision. I will return your kindness one day. I promise. Everybody, raise your voices in a victory cheer! Deirdre is ours! Hey, Teach. Claw. Settle down, will you? You're the victor, after all. I could have escaped, but I decided to say hi to Teach. 
Nothing to worry about. Deirdre has fallen and the Alliance has collapsed. There's nothing I could do to turn things around at this point. You want me to drop my guard around someone who evaded detection by my soldiers? Impossible. Did you really risk coming here just to say hello? I did. But mostly I wanted to say goodbye. I'm leaving Fodlin. Lend you my... <laughs> I knew I liked you, Teach. I dare say Fodlin would be a lot more peaceful without me around. Right, Your Majesty? It's as you say. So long as you remain here, the faction of the Alliance that is against the Empire will continue to support you. Too true. It's best if I leave this place altogether. I'll just have to find some other way to pay back my debt to you. All I ask is that you go easy on the Alliance. After all, no one there would dare defy you now. And please, treat my former classmates well. I've asked them to cooperate with you if I lost. Wait, did your scheming include a plan for if the Alliance lost? <laughs> uh, you think too highly of me. It just seems that way now. Outside of Deirdre, most of the Alliance is unscathed and ready to join your superior strength. In all honesty, I was hoping to become a supreme ruler and lead Fodlin to peace myself. But that won't be happening now. Claude. Good luck to you, Edelgard. We crushed him in battle, and yet... Uh, he really is difficult to understand. <laughs>